I'm about to join church. I got Ruck off Moto. Cap can did an arsenal. Last one. Got him. What's up YouTube, it's Dirty Dave. In this video, we're going over some sensitivity advice and aim training for using a controller. As you guys can see in the top right, I'm over level 300 and I'm a diamond. I've been playing this game since the beta, so I've seen a lot of players with a good aim and I've asked for their sensitivity and I know my aim is above average as well. I'm just trying to give you guys my best advice or guidelines to find the right sen sensitivity for you or even a better one. I know that most people say it's personal preference, which is true for the most part, but there's definitely such thing as a good and a bad sensitivity. I could tell you guys to find a comfortable sense between 1 and 100. That wouldn't be wrong, but that wouldn't be good advice. I'm going to try and narrow it down and give a good starting baseline. With that said, your best sensitivity is the fastest sensitivity you can control. To avoid beating around the bush, I'm going to give advice right now. If you're like me and like to keep your vertical and horizontal sensitivity the same, then I'd recommend to set your vertical and horizontal between 60 and 80 and put your ADS between 30 and 40. I'd say it's about 50, 50 when it comes to people who prefer their vertical and horizontal sensitivity different or the same. If you do prefer different vertical and horizontal, then I recommend to keep your vertical slower than your horizontal and faster than your ADS. So a range of 40 to 60 for your vertical. Personally, I like to keep my vertical and horizontal sensitivity the same because it feels more natural since you're looking around at the same speed. But I know that some people like to have them different and you would want your vertical slower than your horizontal because when you're scanning a room like a bedroom, the ceiling is usually 7 to 10 feet tall, but it can be 10, 20, 30 feet wide. So you have more to look around for horizontally than you do vertically and that's why you do want your horizontal sensitivity pretty fast. But with a fast vertical sensitivity, it is easier to control recoil because you don't have to pull down on the stick as much to fight recoil. For my sensitivity, it's 7272 vertical horizontal and 34 ADS. It fits my guidelines so you know, practice what you preach. I definitely believe these guidelines are in a good range and if you do have to change your sensitivity, go by increments of 2. So every gaming session you play, increase all your sensitivities or change them to fit the range by 2 and play lots of terrace hunt to get your eyes and thumbs on the same page, hand-eye coordination. You guys can definitely try out my sensitivity, but it might not work out for you. If you prefer a slower sensitivity, I will set the vertical and horizontal at the lower end of the range and your ADS at the faster end. If you prefer a fast sensitivity, set your vertical and horizontal at the higher end and set your ADS at the lower end of the ranges that I give you. Now for dead zones, keep them low as possible, so 5% if you can, but as you guys saw, my left stick dead zone is at 10%, and that's because it's not perfectly centered, so whenever your character moves to the side or is aiming off by itself, that's because your analog stick is not centered, it's out of the dead zone, which makes it move by itself, and to fix that, you just increase your dead zone, and if it's really bad, you might have to get a new controller. In general, dead zone is how far you need to move your stick until you get a response. Going back to the start when I said your best sensitivity is the fastest sensitivity you control, I definitely do believe that and I know that professional players do play at a slower sensitivity than your typical rank star and that's because in a pro environment, their teammates are giving out pinpoint callouts, pro players have great awareness and game sense, so they know where the enemy is. They can read the enemy so they know where to aim, and all they need to focus on is holding a good angle. Versus in a rank environment, the calls are not there, the enemy team is playing more wild, and it's harder to read them, so you can't really be aiming at the proper spots. You have to be able to react fast. In pro play, there's not that much turning on the enemy, not that much flicking going on, because they're already aiming at the right spot. In rank, people are constantly trying to peek you, so you have to be able to react fast and be able to turn on people. So that's why I definitely recommend a sensitivity that's on the faster end of the spectrum. Now let's go over some terrace hunt for aiming. Going into terrace hunt, I'm going to show you guys how I like to practice, what drills I use, and how I train. So this first part is just spraying a magazine at a wall just to look at the gun's recoil. This helps me determine which muzzle attachment I want the gun. And for the Twitches F2, I use muzzle brake. This first drill right here is that we're going to be shooting one bullet at a wall and we're going to be walking back and forth left to right and try to keep our crosshairs or reticle right on the dot. This helps with uh, making 
fine movements or small adjustments, especially when you're holding a pixel peak and you just need to move your crosshairs slightly to one side so you can get the bullet through that angle. This uh, this drill definitely helps with that. Uh, this is a pretty popular drill and I know some people recommend using this drill to help find your sensitivity, which I think it would work too, but I don't use it for that. Like I said, I use it to practice my fine movements, small, small adjustments, especially since I recommend a higher fast sensitivity. And you can make it harder going in the zigzag pattern for yourself. So right here, we're going to be practicing recoil. And I just mainly focus on pulling down, trying to get the grouping tight as possible. And also keep yourself at a distance of 10 meters. Because a while back, like year 2, year 3, Ubisoft put out an infographic saying that the average gunfight distance is like 9.5 meters. Something like that. So I, I stay away at 10 meters. And then you can see my pings with that. So right here, this first way I like to train is mainly going for quick scopes, focusing on headshots, focusing on crosshair discipline, you know, kind of going one taps, mainly just aiming for the head, snapping to the head. This is my favorite drill. This is what I do the most. And this really helps me get a lot of headshots because, you know, I'm snapping to the heads, maintaining that crosshair discipline. So definitely run a lot of these, running with a hollow, running with an ACOG, my favorite way to train right, right there. And then we're going over buck, so I'm gonna show you guys my recoil control for buck, and the same thing, pulling down buck's uh, weapon. The C8 has two parts recoil, so the first half of spraying it down, the, it mainly goes vertical, and then the second half it kicks really hard to the right, as you can see there. And again, I'm keeping myself 10 meters away from the wall and just spraying it down. And you can see I'm doing a little bit better job of keeping it in, you know, pulling my stick to the left a bit, but I mainly focus on pulling down. And that's the most important part. So I run compensator a lot because compensator is the best muzzle attachment for keeping that horizontal recoil in. So right there, that was a really good grouping right there. And again, just practicing. I do this so much, guys. You got to be practicing constantly, especially with a controller. So much harder to have good aim with the sticks. So pretty similar, but this time I'm spraying down the terrace. I'm focusing on recoil control trying to get every bullet to land down. I'm even still spraying once they're dead. Just, you know, make sure I keep those bullets landing on their bodies. And right there, just practicing. Yeah, I do this so much. I do, I run Terrace Hunt every day. I might not play rank every day, but I definitely do play Terrace Hunt every day. So usually, yeah, like if I'm waiting for friends or anything, always be running Terrace Hunt as much as you can. Casual is not a good way to practice. If you want to practice aim. Terrace Hunt is the way. So right here, I'm going with the SMG-11. Definitely change up which weapons you use, which sights you use. You got to get practice all around. And then, you know, using the harder weapons because, you know, Ashes R4C is pretty easy to control. You know, Jackal's uh, C7E is easy to control. But, you know, if you can master the SMG-11, it makes using those other guns so much easier. So definitely practice with the harder weapons. You know, right there, I was focusing on my burst. And this part, I'm focusing on the recoil control spraying them down so that's it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like and if you want more dirty dave subscribe i do stream tuesdays through saturdays at 7 p.m pacific standard time or daylight time or 10 p.m eastern standard time daylight time so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time